so mama like gasped of course I was like <gasps> and I, I was right there and I like scooped her right up and I think I scared her clean with me cook with me do life with me <laughs> Stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away. Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. Hey guys, so I thought I would make a Tex-Mex kind of crockpot meal today. So we are starting out with just slicing up some red bell pepper. You can do any color bell pepper that you like. Green would be really good in this one as well. So I just slice that up, pop that in the crockpot, and then I am also using chicken tenders because they are very easy and hardly need any cleaning. So that's why I like to use these um, in my crock pot meals. So I am popping that in the crock pot and then also topping it with some taco seasoning. Um, I used about a half a pack. So I had this saved from a previous recipe as well. And the taco seasoning is so perfect in any Tex-Mex recipe. It just adds like all those flavors combined and it's so good. And of course use salt and pepper to season as always. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me. And then I added a can of Rotel diced tomatoes with green chilies. And you can just do regular tomatoes in this recipe. But I like the added flavors of the chilies and the onion and whatnot. And then I am using some black beans, as many or as little as you would like. And then a little bit of chicken broth, like enough to cover everything but not make it soupy. Um, I just wanted to add a little bit of moisture. And then I cooked this on low for a few hours. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Oh, yeah? A base. A base, you're right. Uh, today's video is going to be an all, like a I do it all, like basically a normal day in my life. <laughs> uh, we are cooking a crock pot meal. Um, I've got a crock pot meal going right now, so I filmed that earlier. I cleaned up a little bit outside, like the walkway, and then I'm about to start some laundry. And basically it's gonna be like a clean with me, cook with me, do life with me type of a video. If you guys like these, give them a thumbs up. I know you guys are always asking, mom life with a toddler foot in your face, always asking for crock pot meal ideas. So I'm happy to share one with you. Okay, Sydney Elizabeth. Oh my goodness. Ew, your socks are dirty. What are you doing? Um, I have some major like things to put back and organizing to do. This, <laughs> the, um, nursing pillow is out because it was in the closet from i don't know i was like taking organizing a closet and i took it out and sydney claimed it so um yeah i just have things to put back in to do oh my goodness are we about to go outside though and play because we still have to entertain a toddler even though we have to do all this housework we still have to entertain a toddler and get the energy out she's following me i have my um vacuum charging what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I love you. Where is she? You're a nut. And I love you. How old are you? Two and a half. Two and a half. You're two and a half. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my date. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet. Okay, so we played outside and our little neighborhood, little neighborhood, our neighbor's daughter, um, Sydney's little friend, and Sydney played for a little while, but when they were hugging goodbye, because Sydney and I were gonna come inside because our crock butt meal is done, when they were hugging goodbye, they like were hugging and walking and fell, and Sydney just whacked her head on the cement. They were in my garage, and Sydney just fell flat and 
smacked her head and yeah so mama like gasped of course I was like <gasps> and I, I was right there and I like scooped her right up and I think I scared her just by my reaction because she didn't instantly cry she instantly just was like this and I went <gasps> and ran over to her but anyway so <sighs> a little bit um I was a little bit panicked but then you know there was no blood there's no bump or swelling or anything but poor kiddo um she's just gonna hang out watch some tv for a little bit we did have a late night last night for her she didn't go to bed until very late yeah so we played outside longer than i expected so i guess i will have to clean after dinner time sorry i have the camera like resting so i didn't clean at all um yet and we played outside a lot longer than i thought i expected so i'll just clean after dinner we i'm gonna make this into tacos so I don't know what is up with my crock pot, but I feel like it cooks faster when I have it on low than it does on high. And this thing is so old, so it probably is probably is the case. So anyway, that is all done. I'm going to shred up the chicken and pop it in some tortillas to make like a, I don't know, like a makeshift kind of taco situation. We don't have any lettuce, but, or fajita taco, whatever. Whatever that yumminess is, it's going in the fajita, <laughs> in the taco shell. So... Yum, and it smells so, so good. I'm gonna drain most of the liquid. I don't want it to be like super runny, but just for flavor, that's why I added the chicken stock. So I'm gonna make some dinner and then check on the little girl. Hopefully she's fine. I keep asking her if her head's okay and she's getting mad at me for asking. Sydney, does your head hurt? No. You're okay? No. <laughs> I'm assuming she's fine then. Uh, no, I won't stop. It is my time Cause I know what it's like to be broke I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy I just loosely shredded the chicken. I just like pulled it apart basically with a fork. Um, and then I'm going to drain the juice. I'm not gonna use the juice, but I'm gonna pop it onto here. Top it with probably some cheese and maybe some sour cream. I, I, I just threw away oh and tomatoes um I just threw away my um last avocado because it was not good but it'll still be yummy the fruit from this lucky day yeah I am on my way up. I won't slow down yeah I am on my way up. I won't slow down I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat. I'm there. Okay, so I just went to go switch over the laundry or just go look for something in the washing machine and my washing machine arm busted. So that's exciting. It was probably a year ago now that it got fixed. It was um, the arm that holds the drum that spins busted and so that got replaced about a year ago and while in the middle of like the spin cycle I heard a snap and then yeah it's just floating in there so that's exciting I need to buy a new washer and you all know how not cheap those are and mine is a stackable washer and dryer so <sighs> anyway anyway that's exciting I'm going to eat and then until I find a washer, I guess I'm just going to wash everything by hand because I don't even care. I don't even care. I'm not going to be, I hope I can find a cheap one. Let's just put it that way. What you putting in All your hopes and efforts Are all in vain Alright, bath time for the little girl We, um We're doing an early bath time Early bedtime tonight Because we definitely need an early bedtime Was your dinner delicious? I know, the best one is slippery, huh? 
Um, yeah, the tacos were really good. They were more like, I don't know, like tacos, fajitas. They taste, it's basically very similar ingredients to my, um, you need more bath slime? Okay, I'll get it for you. Let me wash you up first and then I'll get you more bath slime. Very similar ingredients to my, um, chicken tortilla soup, but flavors are delicious. It's hard to catch because it's slippery. Mom will give you a big chunk, okay? Um, the flavors are really good though because, um, and it would be even better with like some shredded lettuce and avocado, but I didn't have any on hand. Uh, it's just a really easy, delicious. Um, Who will pick you up when you've lost everything? is the bath slime she's talking about it's not really slime it's more like bath jelly kind of but she loves it someone was cold so mama just snuggled for a little while she's so ready for bed you guys and it's 6 30 my baby croissant egg and cheese sandwiches yeah, girly. Can you see together? Can you what, baby? See together? You want to see it? Oh, sit together? Or see it together? What do you say? Eat it together. You want to eat it together? Yeah. Of course, honey. Mm -hmm. It's we got to put it in the oven. Okay. I really want to know why there isn't a better solution. Why can't they make this sticker out of this material? I don't understand. If anyone shops at Hannaford and you buy pre-sliced deli cheese, I'm sure you know the struggle. No matter how delicately you um, try to get the sticker off, it rips a hole in your cheese. And sometimes, mamas need convenience if there's a long line at the deli and you have a toddler with you, okay? Okay. Anyway, moving along from real life adult issues. <laughs> And I am just now getting to folding the laundry the next day. It literally sat on my couch overnight, which I don't like doing, but I was prioritizing my work and just needed to get to editing videos and didn't do any housework. What you did was meaningless. What's the point of you calling? that it is actually the next morning. Last night, um, I had to edit for um, a brand last night and get just another video done. So I decided instead of cleaning my house, um, I had to get work done. And it was just like deadlines are needing to be met. We're rounding up here. 
And um, yeah, so I've been pri prioritizing work over, I feel like I'm so overexposed. Um, I've been prioritizing work over cl like cleaning and organizing my house, which I mean, I feel like every day as a single stay at home mom, work from home mom, I have to prioritize something and like something's always got to give. So it's either my appearance, my house, um, like just something's got to give, you know what I mean? Because I just can only stretch myself so much and I've been working so hard, obviously. And I'm so grateful that I'm able to do this. I'm so, so like, just so grateful that I'm able to work from home and make this my job. Um, so yeah, I prioritized work over cleaning. So I woke up this morning. Yes, it gives me like anxiety and I, I, I do not like to have a cluttered, messy house. And I feel like it's just always cluttered and messy lately because I just have, uh, it's like a revolving door with UPS here and with just with business. So um, I need to stay on top of it. Obviously once Momtober is done, I will be able to stay on top of it a whole lot more because I'll be able to take those days to um, do that. Yeah, baby, we're gonna get you dressed. So anyway, we woke up this morning. Um, I finished editing most of this vlog and then I made some croissant and egg and cheese sandwiches. That was a really, really delicious meal. I stinking yeah, love yeah, making those. Yeah, but yeah, they're very yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. not so good for you. So I try not to do them a ton, but so we had those. You saw my life struggle. I swear Sydney gets my no patience 100%. And it, whenever Sydney gets no pa has no patience, I'm like, breathe, take a deep breath, stop getting frustrated. I'm like, hello, you are literally disciplining the you out of your own child. You know those memes that you've seen. But anyway, so, um, and then I just folded the laundry pile that was sitting on my couch overnight. <laughs> I don't, like I said, I don't like waking up to that, but it's whatever. And um, what else? Yeah, Sydney, I think is going to need a nap today because it was a rough morning before I turned the camera on. It was pretty rough and I know she's just overtired. So that's how she gets when she's overtired. So she will probably go down for a nap today and I'm going to continue to clean up. And yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what this vlog was. It's basically just like life. That's about it. Just this is life here. <sighs> Now I'm, oh, and I searched for new washing machines and they're way more expensive because I have to get a front loader because I have to have it stackable for where my laundry is. So those are fairly expensive. The cheapest I found is $600 for like literally the cheapest one. Um, I'm gonna try to hold out as long as possible and search around for deals and you guys are telling me um, like search the floors at like Lowe's and Home Depot and whatnot to see sometimes you get a good deal and then Black Friday but I don't know if I can wait a whole month um, to get a washer. We'll see, we'll see what the deal is. I'm not stressing. I'm putting it out into the universe to provide me with a washing machine for cheap. <laughs> Sorry if this video seemed like blah. I'm not blah. I'm just a mom, okay? I'm just, you know, a normal mom. Got a lot on my plate, that's about it. You hide the darkest secrets that I've got. We're hiding out in the deep.